There are a lot of know-nothing boobs who don't appreciate the modern art being put up in public places in all our cities. I know this is true because I'm one of those know-nothing boobs. When did bright-colored plastic cows, pigs, and rabbits get to be art? I don't like most of the stuff passing for art, and it's everywhere. Seattle, Chicago, sure Chicago, hog butcher to the world, San Diego, Bloomington, Illinois, for goodness sakes, Cincinnati, the people looking were better looking than what they were looking at, Kansas City, Washington, D.C., makes as much sense as the politicians there, Plainview, Texas, another culture center, Providence, Rhode Island, Memphis, Tennessee. This was done to honor Martin Luther King. It's called, I've Been to the Mountain. Well, I'm an admirer of everything Martin Luther King stood for, but I don't think he would have stood for this. In New York, Lincoln Center has the best opera, the best ballet, the best symphony orchestra. Is this Mickey Mouse sculpture out front really in an artistic league with what goes on inside? This is named Two Indeterminate Lines. Well, I may not understand art, but I do understand the English language, and that's pretentious nonsense. Does every open space have to be filled in? Is this really better looking than nothing would be? I don't think so. Sculptor Richard Serra's work called Tilted Ark was put up at a cost of $175,000. It's a leaning slab of rusting metal. There was a war in New York between people who hated it and people who accused them of being culturally deprived. Tilted Ark was eventually taken down, cut into three pieces, and stored. Take that, Artie Ark. A writer ought to be able to write simple sentences before he tries to be a poet. I want to see something traditional that a sculptor has done, something I can understand, before he gets a license to do this. This is Picasso. This is Picasso, too. Picasso earned the right to do anything he wants. This is art, whether I think so or not. Whoever did this suffers either from a functional disorder of the mind or he's putting us on. And what beneficial effect does this have on our brains that makes it worth putting in a public place? I understand perfectly well that good art is always ahead of public taste. Most of this stuff is certainly ahead of my taste. I don't like it. And if I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll correct me.